Hey guys, Zach, you back with Wireless Mythbusters coming to you from beautiful St. Paul, Alberta. Uh, this is coming to you live from Wave, MBSI Wave and Last Mile Gear. And I absolutely want to thank our sponsors, Cambium Networks, for uh, demonstrating and showing another Gig Air install for one of our most valuable customers, MCS Net. Uh, MCS Net is a service provider out of St. Paul, Alberta, and we're here on site at a homeowner location. We just got done climbing the tower at uh, MCS Net headquarters, and we're here with Brandon today doing an install at a homeowner site, bringing them gig speeds over the air. This is going to be amazing. Looking forward to an awesome install. One thing to point out, guys, as Brandon is, is uh, making his way up to the uh, rooftop here, take a look at all the equipment he has. We're talking a J-mount, some rooftop sealant, and that V1000 that's got that really cool small footprint. Um, this isn't a laborious uh, install for Brandon. That means he can connect people faster, go from house to house, and just uh, set up things very, very quickly and easily. So uh, Cambium Network's innovation at work, that really cool small footprint on that V1000 is just amazing. Point and shoot. If you can see it, it'll work. So there you go, folks. We had a great day in the field. We went to a tower site and a couple of residential installs and showed how MCS Net is bridging the digital divide and bringing their gig air solution leveraging Cambium Network's CN Wave products. Now, let's go inside HQ and let's talk to the, some of the important leaders and stakeholders of MCSNet to see how they want to make a difference. I've got with me uh, Jericho Van Brabrandt, CEO of MCSNet. Jericho, uh, welcome and thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Really, why don't we talk about the myth, the very myth we're trying to bust today. And there is a philosophy in the industry and the market, hey, you know, fiber speeds can only be achieved through fiber. What's your opinion on that? And, and what are you guys doing to kind of bust that myth? Yeah, I mean, it's a myth that's been reoccurring right from the, the beginning of wireless, right? Um, you know, in the, in the DSL days, it's the same thing. Oh, nothing will ever match the speed of copper connectivity. Ah. And exactly, <laughs> we, we can laugh at that at this point. Here we and, are. and it just kept going like that, right? And, and that's the thing is wireless technology is evolving and keeping up with the demands. And it's really neat to see when manufacturers are coming out with products that are not just saying it's gigabit on paper based on you know the, the theoretical maximum like like you see on Wi-Fi claims um, when you're looking at this stuff it actually achieves those types of performance um, I think the greatest example of that is we've launched the, the this product offering um, in communities that have fiber to the home already deployed in um, and currently there's only one provider people don't have a choice and this is really introducing um, that competitive landscape um, which is absolutely great for the consumers they have a choice to pick but it's delivering that full gigabit performance up and down all the time. There's no noticeable difference from the user on the technology that it's running over. Um, it's very much on par, and it, it's really neat to see um, how we're going to be able to deploy this. There are some communities where uh, fiber is not available to them. Uh, just, you know, it's too expensive to bring it out for, you know, just the small hamlet or the small town that it is. Uh, meanwhile, Gig Air and CN, uh, CN Wave is just uh, a little bit more affordable uh, when it comes to the town's perspective and as well as affordable for us in the sense that we're able to provide it just a little bit quicker, it's a little bit quicker to deploy, don't need a whole construction team to bring it to every single house. Sure, no construction team, no permitting, uh, no right of way, um, if there's any sacred lands or anything like that, um, you know, uh, the CN Wave solution is very aesthetically pleasing and just you know, very quick and easy to deploy. Exactly, no need for big machinery in your in your town yep. uh, when gig games are around. So if you look at your business and say, all right, our network, we're using this percentage of fiber and this much uh, fixed wireless, could you guess at what you're uh, deploying today? Fixed wireless is sure. probably like 98% fixed wireless. I would hear, right, properties are far apart, right? You could have two miles before you have another home. Yep. Fiber is not a solution. Sure. I'm a true believer that there's fiber only is never going to be a thing. Yeah. There, it's, there's always going to be a hybrid system, right, with fiber for some applications, uh, gig services such as a CN Wave, 
yeah. for some apps getting fixed wireless for the more and yeah. rural uh, clients. So there you have it, folks. MCS Net proving that gig can be accomplished through the air. And really when it boils down to it, folks, folks like MCS Net are here to make sure St. Paul, Alberta, provincial Alberta and Canada are connected to the internet. So if it's fiber, wireless, whatever it needs to be, they're here to connect Canada. And that's what we should be really focusing on. Accelerating the mission and bridging the digital divide. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'll see you next time on Wireless Mythbusters brought to you by Wave, MBSI Wave and Last Mile Gear. And thank you so much to our sponsors, Cambium Networks. Talk to you. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Oh boy! <laughs> and then I will also need a big box of coffee with cream and sugar. Okay.